Hello everybody, Ronnie here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you lesser known pages of the Canva website. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. So the first thing I want to show you is probably something you already know is the template page and the template library. So the way to access that is simply from your homepage, you can click on templates right here. So if you do this, you will be led to the template library. So template library, you have a big search bar on top of it and you can search for anything or you have the categories here that you can also browse and just search for calendar or newsletter, social graphics, whatever you like. So this is how it works. So this is not something very new, uh, but I just wanted to mention it. And that is canva.com slash templates with an S. Uh, you can do the same, and that's probably something you didn't know, with canva.com slash icons. So for now, there's no shortcut on the homepage, like there's no like tab here in the left uh, panel to show you the icons. But if you type in canva.com slash icons with an S, you would have a similar page, just like the template page, but full of icons. So this is pretty cool. Uh, and this is pretty new, I believe, in Canva. So you can browse through these and you have a bunch of icons. You can filter them as well. Uh, the free ones, premium ones, and both of them. So this is pretty cool. And you can also use the keywords here to kind of search for categories of icons, like tools, for example. You will have all sorts of icons related to tools. And you can, as, just, as I just mentioned, filter them free or premium icons. So this could be very useful if you are building a website or if you just want to use the icons on uh, your design. So the way to use them, if you click on one of these, uh, you will see first you will see the color palette that is being used for this specific icon, which is quite nice because you can copy. I believe, yes, you can copy the hex code just by clicking on them. You will see a bunch of keywords that will help you search for similar kind of key, uh, kind of icons. So again, this helps you remain consistent in your visual style. But one of the options that I really like here is the heart button. Like you can like this, and you see save to your likes folder. So this I'm gonna come back to this in a second. Could be very useful if you are searching for inspiration or if you're pre preparing one of your designs to later finish in the Canva editor. Let's see uh, how we can use this uh, like folder. So let me add a couple more icons in this like folder first. So for example, this hammer in my like folder and this, this paintbrush in my like folder. Okay. That's good. Uh, so you can download the icon. I've never done it before. So let's see how it works. So as you can see here, it's an SVG file. So uh, I believe you can re-import that into Canva. Let's try. I'm going to fetch this and I need to open a Canva document first. So let me go to all my design, open this one design. The tutorial I just created right before and let me add this as VG icon directly here to see what happens. Okay, so it uploads very nicely into Canva. There it is. And the good thing about SVG files is that you can continue to change their colors. So this is pretty useful. You see here, I'm able to fully customize this icon. So this is pretty neat. Another way of using the icons after searching for them in the icon library. You remember we saved a bunch of icons in our liked folder. So if I go back to my design and if I go to my folders, let me get rid of this. Uh, I have this likes folder right here. And I am finding the three icons that I saved from the library. They are right here and I can continue to use my custom colors if I want. So this is what I wanted to show you about the icon library, which is pretty cool. We have to admit 
because it allows us to browse from the library, which is very convenient. A lot of search options, a lot of filtering options. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me go back to the homepage of the icon library. So this is very convenient for searches. And then uh, Canva offers us a, a variety of ways of using these icons. We can save them. We can use them in a design straight away. So it will open a design with the icon inside of it. Or we can just save them to this likes folder and come back to them later. So very convenient. Um, this makes it very easy to remain consistent with our uh, imagery style, I would say. This is a very important um, ingredient, I would say, of a brand's visual identity, the, the imagery style. So imagery style includes not just icons, but everything, every uh, styling attribute that we give to uh, our photos, for example, the filters, if, if we use filters, but also the styles of uh, our different icons, stuff like that. So that's what we call the imagery style. All right, moving on. The next uh, library that you might not be aware of is canva.com slash photos. So photos, of course, there is a shortcut from the homepage right here. So if you click here, you will land on the same page of the Canva website. And that is Canvas Photo Library. So just like uh, the icon library and template library, you can browse uh, and you can search for millions of photos. So this also uh, is the page where you will be invited to join Photos Unlimited, which is Canva's add-on subscription to get millions of photos that you can use for all sorts of licensing uh, plans and options. I receive a lot of questions in the group right now about uh, if you can use elements and photos that you that you get from Canva, that you purchase from Canva in your design, if you are selling your design. So I agree the licensing explanations are not super uh, straightforward, but they are what they are. And it is our duty as creators, especially if we sell our productions, to understand them. So I believe with the Photo Unlimited subscription, which is an add-on, it costs a certain amount of money every month. Uh, you, the photos that you are able to use are for both non-commercial and commercial use. So it, you are covered uh, for both, like all types of scenarios with the photos. So just like uh, the icons, uh, just like the templates, you can search from here. You have very nice photos. You can also add them to your to a folder. So that's cool what happens here. You can add them to any folder. That is if you are a Canva Pro member. I don't know what would be the option here. Probably the likes uh, folder uh, if you are a free user because free users don't have as many folders. So let me check here what else can we do. You can download this in different sorts of resolution. And this is a free photo, I, I believe. So yeah, again, the color palette, a couple of keywords. So this is really well done. Uh, and this is the, the photo library. All right, what else do we have? Uh, a couple of more things I wanted to show you. Yes, we have canva.com slash apps. So the button should be here. Also in your left side menu, apps, it says apps. And these are the new third party apps that Canva recently added uh, to the platform. So these are apps developed by, not by Canva, but by other companies or other developers. And we have three categories of apps. We have the content apps, so design with your favorite media. So these apps, the first row of apps right here, allow you to fetch content from different sources. For example, you can embed uh, like videos from YouTube, from Facebook, you can use emojis, you can, uh, you can import easily your Dropbox files, your Facebook photos, etc, etc. So these, this first category of apps is called the content apps because it allows you to fetch content from different sources. Then we have a second category of apps here in the middle, and these are your editing apps. It says enhance your images. So basically a bunch of tools that will allow you to 
to tweak your images, to edit your images in different ways. So you have the duotone, which is one of my favorites by far. You have bad TV, color mix, glitch, etc. You have a couple more if you use the arrow here. And of course, if you click on one, you have a brief description of what it is, and then you can start using it right away. Okay, uh, and then the last category of apps is uh, what we call the publishing apps. So apps that allow you to kind of uh, speed up your workflow instead of having to create it in Canva, download it and then upload it somewhere else. Canva is uh, offering you a shortcut to kind of uh, use your creation, use your design directly and publish it anywhere. So that's part of our company's motto. Uh, publish anywhere. So now you can publish directly to LinkedIn, MailChimp, OneDrive, Pinterest, uh, PowerPoint, etc. So you have a bunch of different uh, publishing options right here. There will be more in the future, I'm sure. Uh, so these are the apps that I wanted to show you. You can also find the apps directly in your editor. So let me show you where you have different ways of using these apps. Uh, of course, the content apps. So the first category, you can just simply uh, click the more button and then you have a couple of these apps right here. So these are the content apps to fetch your content from different sources. Then you have the editing apps that work with images. So first we need to import an image. Uh, let's, for example, use this image. So this photo, in order to use the apps, you will have to select it and then use the effect button. And then the editing apps will be here. All right, so you have all these editing apps and then the publishing apps will be here in the publishing uh, button right here. So you can click more. You see here PowerPoint. Uh, you can uh, publish directly to Slack, LinkedIn, Facebook page, Twitter, Google Drive. So these are the publishing apps right here, integration. All right, so different ways of using the Canva apps. So we have covered canva.com slash template. All right, template library, canva.com slash icons, which is the new thing that you might not know already. Canva.com slash photos, canva.com slash apps. All right, so these are all the new pages I wanted to present to you. And if you want to go a little bit deeper and search for more tools, you can try canva.com slash colors. You will have a nice page here with a bunch of resources in terms of using colors, choosing the perfect color for your design. And then one last thing I want to show you before we wrap up this tutorial is canva.com slash learn. So canva.com slash learn is a blog full of resources, full of articles related to design, related to trends, marketing, branding. So here it's really the place to go if you want to learn about Canva by reading and very up to date, like the blog posts that are here are very recent. They are all very good. So I highly recommend that you uh, just have a peek. You see, for example, this one, five design, tre five design trends uh, you will see in 2020, super relevant, uh, super useful. I, I check this all the time. All right, guys. So that's what I wanted to show you. A bunch of resources offered to you by Canva for free. I suggest you start using them uh, so you become a better designer. Hope this tutorial was useful and I will see you in the next one.